Dr. Yang, who, who's currently assistant professor of ophthalmology at the Bayer Institute at Stanford. During the past few years at Stanford, he, uh, Yang has been working very much on new protection and accent regeneration. So for his talk today, he will be discussing about retroganglion cell-specific uh, promoter-mediated gene therapy. Yang, welcome. Yang, please uh, unmute yourself or something. Uh, you need to use the um, overall, hit the power point and hit the share screen because right now you're in presenter mode. So we can see your next slide coming up, which is what happened. So you have to, I think I was told you, you hit the okay, share sorry. screen. I mean. Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, can, you, uh, can you see it now? Yes, and now hit the, um, you know, the screen thing on your PowerPoint so that only the, the yes, perfect, thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, uh, really exciting to be here, uh, enjoy the talk uh, for the whole day. Uh, it's really tired, but uh, it's very exciting. So um, we are working on the RDC uh, uh, neural protection and axon regeneration. And uh, I don't have uh, really a commercial interest. And uh, here is the ground support, and uh, that's the person that who really did the work. Uh, I want to emphasize uh, for the talk uh, today, I especially uh, collaborate with Jeff Goldberg, Yang San, and uh, Jason Mayer from Indiana University. So the objective is that uh, I hope that I can convey to you that the RGC specific promoter is very useful to. Uh, for research as a research tool, and also uh, important for uh, gene therapy, targeting RGC cell uh, specifically uh, to mi minimize the side effect from other cell types. And uh, I want to show you the in vivo application of the CRISPR-Cas9 mediated gene editing uh, uh, using this specific model that we recently identified. And uh, as you know, retinal ganglion cells send out the uh, axons to form the optic nerve. Uh, anything related with optical disease is, is called optical neuropathy. So in the lab that we use in mouse uh, RGC optic nerve system as the model to uh, model different kind of optic neuropathy disease, uh, the most common uh, used model is optical crash injury that you have heard uh, a lot today. And also recently we developed a new glaucoma model by inject silicon oil into the anterior chamber of the eye uh, to uh, cause the uh, pupil blocking, uh, which is really replicated uh, in clinical uh, after retinal surgery. Sometimes the silicon oil migrate into the anterior chamber to cause the secondary glaucoma. And uh, but I don't have time to talk about that today. And uh, in addition to that, uh, we also have normal tension glaucoma, which means that there's uh, uh, intraocular pressure independent uh, uh, glaucomatous neurodegeneration caused by certain uh, 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 genes mutation, and uh, also optic neuritis, which is a model of EAE and a multiple sclerosis. And then in the center that uh, uh, Joyce Liao leading is that uh, also there's an effort to develop an OBT model. And uh, the readout of uh, actually optic neuropathy is relatively easy. And uh, uh, I, as we majorly quantify the retinal ganglion cell in the whole mouth retinas and the axons in the cross section of the optic nerve, to say the uh, survival and uh, degeneration axon and uh, RGC cell. And the uh, AEV has been used uh, extensively in the viral study uh, because the eye is exposed uh, very easy to um, uh, inject uh, virus into the vitreous chamber. And in this case, we're using AV2 that can infect retinal ganglion cell preferentially. And the AV is also another uh, a very popular uh, gene therapy vehicle to, uh, to do the uh, gene therapy uh, protection effect, uh, uh, neuroprotection therapy in the retinas. 
Today, I'm going to talk about uh, one specific promoter we recently identified that uh, can achieve very specific and potent uh, uh, to drive uh, gene expression in the retinal ganglion cell. So uh, initially, uh, we're using normal common promoter to drive gene expression using AV uh, for retinal ganglion cell. As you can see here, that um, uh, it can infect the retinal ganglion cell pretty good, but uh, it also can uh, leading gene expression in uh, in the cells in the in the nuclear layers. And uh, to uh, prevent uh, and uh, to promote more specific uh, RGC uh, gene expression, so we look for uh, uh, screen a, a bunch of different promoters and. Uh, we found out the SNCG gamma uh, synuclein promoter, mouse and the human uh, drive gene specifically in the retinal ganglion cell, uh, but uh, not uh, very minimum in other cell layer. And the hormone retinal can show that uh, the expression, uh, uh, transgene expression driven by those promoters is much more important even compared to the CAG promoter that normally used. And uh, a very specific uh, a phenotype is that the mouse sensitive promoter somehow drives gene expression much more potent than the human version. And if you look at the optimal, that's even more dramatic that the mouse sensitive promoter is drives GIP expression much more potent. And this is also holds true in the human uh, RGCs. So human IPS derived uh, human RGCs, which is a uh, right labeled cell here. And also, mouse essence promoter can uh, drive gene expression much better in the uh, human uh, RGCs than the human essence uh, uh, promoter. So, we focus on the mouse essence promoter in the uh, following experiment. First, we, we confirm that uh, the essence uh, driven GGIP colocides with the uh, RGC marker RBTMS. And we also retrograde treating of the retinal ganglion cell union the NI injecting the superior chloroquine. Uh, which is also confirmed that uh, the SNCG promoter uh, label cell is uh, majority is the uh, RGC that a retrograde label. We also look at in vivo uh, for long-term expression compared to the normal CG promoter driven EGFP. The mouse SNG promoter can drive gene expression in retinal ganglion cell very potently and uh, can last a long time. Uh, the longest time point we look at is like one year, 12 months. And uh, as you can see, that uh, uh, this is a uh, very represented image which shows that from one of the mice, uh, which shows that uh, the mouse essence uh, promoter driven uh, gene expression much more potent than CG uh, in vivo using SIO monitoring. And uh, the full length of the SNCG promoter is about 1.45 kb. As you know, the AEV has very limited uh, capacity to take uh, in, uh, uh, transgenes. So, uh, uh, we truncated uh, this promoter to see uh, what's the uh, minimum of uh, component that can still drive gene expression. So we, we have uh, se uh, several truncations here and uh, which all of them can actually still drive gene expression pretty good, although the specificity is uh, uh, progressively uh, lower than, uh, at, uh, for example, at the, the shortest form, which points to 7 kb promoter that uh, you can see that uh, uh, traumatic in, uh, in the nuclear layer has been labeled. But uh, the shorter form of the, this promoter allows us to drive a, a much big, a bigger gene expression uh, using AV. So uh, one of the genes is called Cas9, which is full, uh, uh, essentially itself is 4 KB. And uh, we can use this shorter form of mouse SNG promoter to drive uh, uh, Cas9 expression in the right trunk ganglion cell. And also together with guidance RNA uh, expression that can um, lower down uh, targeting the specific uh, genes uh, knockdown effect uh, shows very dramatically in the retinal ganglion cell in vivo. And also uh, it can knock, knock down the uh, endogenous uh, uh, gene expression quite efficiently using this uh, promoter driven Cas9 and the uh, uh, effect. Uh, we further want to test this uh, uh, in uh, uh, targeting the molecule that has been shown before has neuroprotection effect. Particularly, these two molecules we identified before is one is called CHOP, is the downstream of the R stress molecule, and another some one that has been shown by my labs that can uh, uh, promote axon, uh, uh, axon survival after uh, optic uh, neuroinjury or disease. 
and uh, also not uh, not Donald Trump uh, have also has the new protecting fine. So using this CRISPR Cas9 system that we developed in, uh, with the AV uh, mouse sensitivity promoter, and uh, we testing this system uh, in mouse eyes. But uh, before that, we want to confirm the knockdown effect. So uh, after the virus inject into the mouse eye, after two weeks, we purify the uh, retinal ganglion cell by fact sorting. Uh, from this purified uh, retinal ganglion cell, then we can do the uh, uh, survey assay, which is the uh, assay that detects the uh, genomic uh, editing by this CRISPR Cas9 uh, mediated uh, gene editing, and uh, which is shows that uh, uh, efficient. Uh, uh, very dramatic uh, gene editing. And also to further confirm that, we did uh, deep sequencing, which shows that uh, this two molecule has been uh, uh, significant, uh, uh, their genomic sequence has been significantly modified by this CRISPR Cas9 needed uh, effect. And then we, uh, using the optimal crash model, uh, 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 to, uh, as you know, after of the cr crash, Dramatic uh, uh, optional uh, retinal signal uh, monitored by OCT, uh, as you can you have heard a lot today, and uh, by injecting this uh, AV uh, Cas9 and the guidance RNA targeting CHOP and the SARM, has uh, dramatically increased of the uh, thickness of the retina, which shows uh, indicate a neuroprotection effect, and also using Python ERG. We can see the uh, uh, significant uh, reservation of the visual function of RGCs as well. And uh, we finally we look at uh, the RGCs and uh, our axons uh, in the mouse eyes that uh, shows the uh, significant uh, dramatic increase of the survival of RGCs and uh, uh, axons in the optical nerve. So basically, what we show that the mouse eye sensory promoter can drive potent and specific uh, transgene expression in RGCs. Using this mediated CRISPR Cas9 achieved gene editing and neuroprotection in RGCs. Uh, uh, hopefully, this uh, can be uh, used as a uh, tool for uh, RGC specific targeting, and also this is a potential genetic tool for gene therapy. Uh, okay, thank you very much. I will stop here. Thank you.